Okay. Jeez, what's the name? What's the name of the guild? G. Hmm. Oh, um. Putting me on the spot. Um. Oh, <laughs> um. Let's get the cats. Wait, wait. Can tempered, we tempered dogs. <laughs> Um, I'm going with the whisper that was given to me by I don't know who, the wind. Um, it was the tempered dogs. Tempered dogs. Tempered dogs. that under alliance or alignment? Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, so you've all been adventurers together in the Tempered Dogs Guild for at least a few months, possibly years, if you wish. Why don't you all go through and introduce yourselves and give a little bit of detail about your character because you'd all from bottom to top or from bottom to top. Are we or... going in uh, reverse bottom order? To, yeah, from bottom to the top. All right. Okay. Since... Right. I, I, I'm a, I'm a cavalier who goes by the name. Of, first name is Sal. The last name is Africa. <laughs> so otherwise known as South Africa. <laughs> I love it. Such rich lore. <laughs> I've. Uh, I befriended my, my mount, a, a giraffe, from when he was orphaned as a young age. Um, and the giraffe's name was Wakanda. <gasps> <laughs> I love it. Um, he, he's blue. You all know why he's blue and um, what that means, so I don't need to explain that. That's fine. Um, and yeah, he's, a, he's a, a, a boisterous boisterous man who thinks he's... He, he does he does things. How what? He brags about them. He how wise the is he? Because he is the best. In his infinite wisdom. Okay. And great, strong intelligence. And average charisma. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. He's also, like, looks like a snake, but he's like a person. <laughs> this is a key Ooh. point to bring up. <laughs> Wait, he looks, who, who looks like a snake? I do. Really? Yeah, okay. like, um, hold on, I'll send you a picture of, uh, what a Nagaji looks like. Okay. Maybe, maybe not the big titty one. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, no, definitely the big titty yeah, one. Can you send that one, please? <laughs> Wait, can you actually DM me that one? It's vital to the lore that the lizard has big titties. Yeah, right, so, Will? So, we're, we're, we're... Wait, so are they mammals? No. 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 Okay. That's where the eggs are stored. It, it's like the uh, the Skyrim argument that's been happening lately with uh, Argonians. Argonians need big old titties. Males, too. So, oh so, 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 I'm like, very to the point. very large lack in titties here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. You, you degenerates. <laughs> yeah, way to <laughs> yeah. Lola Bunny your your character, Paul. That's yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I hope that doesn't awaken yeah, anything yeah. in me. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Pass turn? Uh, pass turn. Uh, pass turn. turn. Hello, I am Zimbabwe. I hail from my homeland, Zimbabwe. <laughs> uh, I am a small halfling uh, rogue. Uh, you guys tend not to see me around the guild hall that much, but I'm always there. <laughs> oh no. Um, I have poison, and I'm sneaky and observant. And I don't have any pets, much to my chagrin. Next. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh, okay. Oh, is it is it me now? Yep. Go ahead, there. Ah, uh, I am the the old orcman called Chad. What? Did did you take like a picture or no? I'm a halfling. Picture a halfling. Yeah, picture. Okay. Imagine Sorry, a halfling. No, I'm not gonna post a picture. Cause I'm invisible. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the I'm the old orcman named uh, Chad. I've been with the guild for for years now, oh so long, and uh, the the reason I was I an orc would join a guild like this instead of just being a, a backward savage as as most orcs are tend to be, is because uh, my whole village got completely destroyed by some crazy wacko alchemist. But then one day I got big enough and I killed him and I ate all of his potions and that made me grow an extra arm. And uh, then I ran away and looked for work, and then I joined the guild. And that was, let's call it, 19 years ago. Wait, so you have three arms? Yeah. Are you middle-aged? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh-oh. Yeah, I took the negative. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, I'm green. Fast turn. Green, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm... Oh. 
Sorry, no. Oh yeah, I'll I'll go look for a picture while while G explains. Hi, I'm Togo the goblin, uh, the monkey goblin. I am. My age is two. I am three three feet. Ook. I have a. I Did have you say photo. Age is two. Yeah, I'm two years okay. old. <laughs> How good. long does a goblin live? I have no idea. <laughs> like two and a half. That seems in character. 30. <laughs> yeah. 35. I feel like they wouldn't. <laughs> I feel like it's not long. They wouldn't live. I let wait. <laughs> kind of like that limit. That's that's how I look. I'm like kind of white at the head, black around the body. And I am also, you'd be surprised at what I know. I've seen a lot of things. In your short time. Lived a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Those two Monkey years. trauma. A, a decade. It's like several <laughs> lifetimes for a goblin. <laughs> I think I had that beanie baby. <laughs> all right, that's all the important characters. Yes. All right, Will. Your turn. Okay. Uh, yes, I will be playing everyone else. Um, <laughs> Could you quickly go through all the backstories? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> okay. So, I am Mozambique. I am a big, burly white man with a lower half that is nothing but tail. It is blue, blue, sea blue tail. Uh, I'm a merfolk. I've got a big, burly upper body with pale, pasty skin, chapped nips, and a bl bleach blonde mustache. So chapped. <laughs> I love that <laughs> uh, I look like this. <laughs> uh, and uh, for as long as you've all known me, I've punched things with my hands. And when I move, I punch things with my hands, like the ground or other things. And that's how I do things. And if you miss, you just stay there. I, have, I, I just stay there. I'm your slow friend, but like not mentally. Physically. Well, physically. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Nice. So you have all been called to Tract. Um, Dustpawn is a small, quiet mining town in the country of Isgur, which is a vassal state of the country of something else in the world of Galarion, and none of that matters. Nice. Um, <laughs> Good. I love my lore. It's like a whole like Forgotten Realms-like setting for Pathfinder. Uh, who can remember it? Yeah. It's not my job. It's in the name. Uh, you have been hired by Dalvis Green. He told you to meet him at his tavern, the Mineshaft. we would be giving you a bit more instruction. The letter was kind of brief. It said that something fell from the sky near the town a few months ago, and nothing's been quite the same since. Like a stone. What was the guy's name, sorry? Uh, Dalvis Gren. Dalvis. Del oh, Dalvis? D-A-L-V-S. Yeah. Uh, is it a mysterious and... pillar that fell from the sky? And if so, is the tavern covered in green smoke? That is the question <laughs> I was next to ask. <laughs> I've definitely chosen the closest adventure to the one that we did the other day. That's good. That's that's all I we, I could ask for. So you find yourselves approaching the town of Duskspawn. It <sighs> seems to be a small settlement of about a thousand two hundred and ninety people, if you were to count them exactly. Um, I try. Could, could we? <laughs> quickly get the names again of everyone so I can like get it right. Like for example, I'm Mozambique. G. Togo. Togo. Uh Nardo. Chad. Chad, that's right. Uh Jozak. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. And then Paul, I think you're like, you know, an actual name, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. First name Sao S O U. Last name is mm -hmm. Africa. Africa. <laughs> yeah, cool, 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 cool. Great. Great. Okay, cool. Yeah, also, the down. draft name is Wakanda. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Really just want to edge it, you know? <laughs> oh, I am edging. Okay. Adam, I don't know what your problem with Africa is. Yeah. <laughs> You're not recording, are you? Cause, uh, what? Anyway. I would never. I mean, yes. Are you actually? Oh, no. I thought that was established. Oh, Why I do you think I would... You were going to. I, what? No, but the opposite. 
I better clean up my talk. Nah. <laughs> so when did you start recording? If Sam Jackson when, asked me to, I would not about, say it. About one minute <laughs> after I said, wait, Paul, Paul, don't, uh, Paul, Paul, stop, stop, when I did oh that. Uh, What's that? I'm, 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 I think this is a nice theme. It's a fun theme. I've never named a single character in this encounter. No? No, this was uh, pre-gen <laughs> characters, right? Uh, Will. Uh, oh, yeah, you, this is a module, right? Yeah, module, th yeah. these were all pre-gen yeah. in the module, right? You just, yeah. like, you just gave us the characters from the module? Oh, no. Okay. You, you, you caused this pain. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so, so where are we right now? We're in approaching the mining oh, town of approximately 1,300 people. Yeah, approximately. We're okay. Yeah, we're on the walk. Yeah. And on that You're walk, on I walk feel... In, uh, I'm on the slither. You guys you have to walk a little bit slower. Just like down in the general chat. We'll also have real posted and rolling around. That's a bit harder to see. Okay, so um, it looks like this map has a one. There are two rivers nearby. It's a town surrounded by uh, kind of dry plains with some rolling hills and some marshes. Um, one of the rivers roll, runs straight into town. It does. You're approaching from the west road. Um, you can either head straight to the tavern or you're... Uh, told you'd meet, or you can walk around the town, as you will. Uh, you see uh, <clears throat> some kind of kids playing quite roughly in the street. I say, young child, do you have a map for us? Of this town? Get your own, he spits. Oh, damn it. Does this look like a rougher town? Like, getting my bearings, looking at the houses and the people walking around? It seems a little bit poor, and everyone looks kind of, you know... Kind of grumpy, kind of like hunched shoulders, kind of looking down at the ground, kind of running forward, trying to get to the next place as fast as possible, hmm. avoiding encounters with other people. Uh, the kids are kind of playing rough, like they have a ball that they were passing back and forth, but now they're kind of just struggling over in the street. Hmm. They're about to come to blows? Ooh, yeah. Okay. Like just fighting in get the street? Get back! <laughs> What's happening? It looks oh, like they're about they're to come to blows. Us. Let's observe. Yeah. They're yelling at each other. Give it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, give it back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One's yelling at the other Do one. Do we know where the tavern is? Is the tavern one of these numbers? Uh, tavern's number one. Number one? Yeah. Let's just see which kid gets the ball, and then we'll go to the tavern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, the kid with blonde hair decks the kid with brown hair. And, uh... <laughs> ah! Ah! Blonde and, uh, or good show. I, I nod. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> The other kid just kind of stands there and laughs at him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, can I just like not approach him, but get kind of close and just like pound my chest <laughs> to assert <laughs> dominance? <laughs> yeah, just 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 go for it. It's kind of like I saw it as a fight for dominance. It is crying. <laughs> You're kind of scary, person, stranger. <laughs> I'll approach. I'll slither up to the child. With my Are you a monster. Hair. <laughs> I will pat him on, on the back of my nearly human hands and uh, say, You have to punch him back, son. <laughs> Mozambique! Is he your friend or your enemy? Yeah. What? I'll, I'll, stand, I'll, st I'll try to stand him up and like push him towards the kid. Mozambique, Can you show me how? give him a tip sure. on how punching works. I will works. punch the child. <laughs> <laughs> lightly. Oh, lightly. Lightly. Do lightly. Full damage. Uh, not lethal? No. Lethal? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not doing lethal. I'm not doing... I'm, oh, okay. I'll do... I'll do... I, if I can do minimum damage, like, like you know, a light yeah. tap kind of thing. Just a... I thought you were about to uh, I'll child. do it with... Yeah, I, I was asking non-lethal, and you said no. So no. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I yeah, need yeah. to kill the child. 36 to hit. Does oh, this, yeah. Does this yeah. hit the child? <laughs> okay. The child. Can I just do, like, one damage as I punch yeah. the child? Can he uh, do... Begins to bleed a so little for bit. context, yeah. Adam... Are you... Are, oh, no. Oh, okay. I had to talk to you just for a second. I came back and Adam's beating a small child. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Go on. And I, I hold my hands up like it, like, you know, typical old 20 brawler style. And I say, come boy, show me how you can do it. And I... I what was that mean? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm teaching this young child to fight for himself. I think you can do it. Can I use my legs? And you like, bring them there or... <laughs> Fucking smack him for that <laughs> insolence. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Where's the ball at this point? <laughs> On the ground. I shoot it with the crossbow. <laughs> yeah. I'll, wait. What? Yeah, I'll tell the child, uh, you have to, if your quarry runs, you... And the other child sprints after the other, and let's see. I'm glad we've decided that this is our guild culture, bullying small children. No, we're teaching. <laughs> it's a learning. Uh, eventually catches up and kicks him from behind, uh, straight in the groin, and you see the other child, like, kind of crumple up and... I clap. I, I'll, I'll also clap, like, good show. I retrieve my bolt from the ball. Well, back to business. Yeah, Togo, uh, as, yes. guild, as guild leader, Togo. Yeah, as, is, uh, uh, yes. 
What is our objective here, Togo? Do we get experience for defeating small children? Absolutely. <laughs> no, I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mozambique. Oh. Yes? Here? We must go. <gasps> and he's just there, like, I'm just there, like, pondering. Kind of just staring out in the distance for no reason. I wait patiently. Just trying to think, trying to get my head together, because I'm only two years old. I look towards maybe, the tavern. Maybe to the tavern? Togo? Yes, yes, to the tavern. Let's you go. always lead Togo us to the best is, place, Togo. Is our genius ah, yes. Always knows where to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Togo, could tavern you tell me? Is good. Wakanda seems mighty thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we're just traveling with the giraffe. <laughs> <giraffe. laughs> Well, we're gonna walk over a river, so Wakanda, yeah, have to walk. Wakanda makes various giraffe noises. Togo, could you tell me a tale about the outer plains again? Hmm. And I just, I, I started looking. So I'm still walking, but like I'm still looking towards the towards whatever the town is. I just don't ask me these questions. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll never happen again, Togo. <laughs> Forgive us, Togo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I guess we go to the tavern. Yeah, to the tavern. <laughs> oh god, the shaft or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you the, walk up uh, to the you follow the river down. You walk up to can I name it? This kind of rundown building. It is called the mine shaft. Damn it! <laughs> Whatever you want, but that is what the sign says. Okay. As you enter, you see there's only uh, there's a man behind the bar and. Uh, Another man conversing with him. Maybe behind the bar is a red hair. It seems human, and his coworker uh, is human as well. I care. There's no one else in the bar. No, that seems to be only Steph. I attempt to ride Wakanda into the bar. Ah, uh, Wakanda does not fit into the bar. Okay. <laughs> Wakanda proceeds to make the following noises. Yep. <laughs> the two story tavern. That's pretty good. Um. <laughs> Does Pathfinder have the thing where if you're small, you can occupy the same space as a medium creature? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Um, right, so I, I leave Wakanda outside with my with my lance attached uh, to my no, saddle. Table attached to the uh, tavern. Uh, oh. None of them are occupied, but you... Does he fit in that? I reckon that if uh, Wakanda bends his head down, he could probably fit in them. <laughs> I, I, I ride Wakanda over and like, Wakanda, do you want to stay in the stables? Wakanda shakes his head down. Say, okay, Wakanda. Do what you want. Oh, and I, I walk away. Does he do one of his you pet tricks, such power. as mimic scenery? We're here to, to meet with someone to, to discuss the trouble of the town, correct? Uh, Stop yes. falling from the sky. That's right. How, how about... <laughs> are you uh, customers, or are you the adventurers, uh, the man with... We're looking you from... for... Sorry? You from the Tempered Dogs Guild? Oh, go. Like, woof, woof. Monkey. <laughs> yes, that is uh, excellent to meet you here. Quite renowned in this region for adventurer so young, uh, and if I, only I could have had her some success. I was adventure myself down back down? in the day. He's looking down at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of walks up to you. And now you own land. And uh, extend my my tail just to like maintain social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm sure you have a great many stories to tell, but we are not interested in any of them. I nod. I see. You're probably just interested in the reward. Yes. Yeah. I nod. I and nod. the glory! <laughs> I shake my head. <laughs> I had it. It's coming. I prepared a table uh, since I was expecting you to arrive today. Uh, and he leads you to this uh, long table that's enough to fit all of us. I move the chair to the up. side. Ron, can you serve them some drinks? And the sour faced man with red hair from behind the bar comes out, um, a serving, uh, brings you over some. Very light beer and some breaded kind of chicken. Beer. Ooh. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, Togo's just gonna look at it and just, just start going at it, at the beer. Uh, the beer seems watered down, but the chicken's all right. The man Dalva says, oh, Thank you again for agreeing to meet me here and help me. Uh, fortunately, it seems no one else has been able to locate the fallen object so far. I believe it's, they're all saying it's some kind of shooting star. But not for lack of trying. There's been a few groups that have gone out. Miners, prospectors, and the like. You said children. Uh, no children, no. The miners. miners. Like coal miners. Ah, that explains it. Go on. What do you uh, mine here? Uh, mostly iron, um, some salt. Is this yeah. a prosperous mine? No, no phosphorus. Prosperous. It was back ah. in the day. Not recently. I mean, 
there's been some new prospectors coming here recently, uh, you know, both to investigate this uh, fallen star or to, you know, find a new place to dig. But the existing mines have been pretty well cleaned out. Or uh, A few of them are staying here at this very end. Uh, Do you uh, know yeah. approximately where the star landed? Its trajectory as it came down? Somewhere to the west. Um, but we've been having several unfortunate incidents since that night with the meteor. I mean, at first it was just our livestock going missing, but since then the tempers around town have just been rising and absolutely ridiculous. I mean, everyone who's gone searching for the impact site has disappeared, and I wasn't taking it really too seriously until one of my own employees, our cook, uh, Liara, just vanished. Um, these new prospectors from uh, Drum, and I think they're looking for it as well. I think they, that meteor sorry. might have brought something here that's causing all these troubles. Are those four prospectors um, from Drum? Are they staying here? Uh, yes, they've. Uh, they tend to only go out in the evening, but they're staying. They've rented out the entire common room. Is that that way? And I point to any like any direction, any direction <laughs> in the building. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a there's a door here that leads to the common room, and there's also some stairs that go up to the other rooms. I point to the stairs. Uh, no, it's uh, that room over there, and he points to the other side, at, on the opposite side of the... Ah. Should we have a, a, a nice chat with these young prospectors? We should accost I... them, yes. <laughs> Try, but they really haven't been forthcoming in details about themselves. We'll make them I mean, come. everyone in town thinks it's just some random meteor, but, I mean, I'm an ana amateur astronomer myself, and I was watching it come down that night, and it seemed to slow all on its own. It doesn't seem to be like normal behavior for this kind of object. Maybe it has wings. Perhaps. And I'm not in agreement with uh, Sue. Sow. Sow. <clears throat> what? Wings. That's how it slowed down while it flew mm -hmm. from the dry sky to the ground. Or an umbrella. Like planetary bodies don't usually have wings. What do you know? You're an amateur astronomer. <laughs> I suppose that's fair. I appreciate you being so forthcoming with your information, but I'll remind you, we do not care about your personal. So, should we move along to the four prospectors? Oh, well, let's move to oh. the reward aspect. They're going to talk to us. We could do both! We could, make we could them do both, but talking to them, asking them a bunch of questions might uh, make them more watchful. When right! Try to follow them. Ooh. Sao gets up to talk to the prospectors. Wait, before you go, Sao. Yes. Shouldn't we leave it up to our guild leader? No, we haven't discussed payment. <laughs> That's also fair. <laughs> so anyway, what? payment. <laughs> I stare at the barman. Or the man. Is, is this guy Dalvis Grun? This guy what? Dal is this, this guy Dalvis Grun? This guy is Dalvis Grun. Good, okay. He's sure. accompanied by the uh, stabler and housekeeper who's filling in for the uh, barkeeper and cook, Nalan. That's the man who keeps on bringing you drinks. Hmm. Um... Payment, uh, yes, of course. I mean, if you can find the crash site and give me a report of what you find there, uh, you'll get 6,000 gold. I mean, it's not the most for adventurers of your stature, but yeah, quite perhaps stature. you can get some mining rights to the asteroid or whatever it is you find. I mean, I'm just a tavern keeper here. Damn! Day, you know, fast. No, no, the, the, Easy, the, the, Sal. The guild leader has the one that brokers the deal, Sal. This well, I'm... I'm the if, I mean, I'm the draft. You can, if you can solve this town's problems, I mean, find out why everyone's suddenly ready to tear each other's throats out, and why people have been going missing, I'll throw in my uh, halberd up there on the wall behind the bar. I stare at it. I like it! I stay and I just, like, slam my little hand on the table. Deal! <laughs> Huzzah! Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, I mean, of course, uh, if you can find... What do you want to look for first? I mean, you could find the asteroid. There's these uh, strangers that uh, my cook was quite suspicious of, but I thought nothing. Um, and Sounds like they're trustworthy! Are, are these strangers the same as the prospectors or different? Uh, yes, yes, the prospectors. Right. Uh, Liara didn't really trust them when they came in. And, you uh, said they're mainly, they go out at night. Do you know what time they return? Uh, no, I mean, they appear to be in their rooms when I wake up in the morning around 6, so probably before then. Um, they usually head out in the evening around, say, 3, 4. Oh, so the afternoon then? Yes, I suppose. Depends on when your day starts. 
Should we sneakily mm-hmm. follow them then? Thank you. Uh, I think we have some things to discuss amongst ourselves. Mm-hmm. Please leave the table. <laughs> Please leave our okay. table. Yeah. Can I ask uh, Nalan to bring you anything? Yes. Water, food. beer, food, stronger beer, beer, please. More yeah. chicken. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, we can try. I mean, he's not the best cook, but he does what he can. The nail file, if you could. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, while we... here's your stronger beer. <laughs> I quaff it with the Q button. Ooh. I spend my move action instead of my actual action Not drinking this beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. It's your quick drinker. Yes. Um, so, so what we could do, yeah. I could definitely like break into their rooms and like see if anything's in there while you guys are talking to them or while they're out or whatever. That's true. This could work. I like that, that is a skill set I have. I like this course of action. Shit, I forgot. You have free rooms upstairs, and I provided you how many rooms, or are we sharing? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. okay. Do we have individual rooms, or <laughs> are we sharing? <laughs> uh, there are both. Uh, there's three common rooms and two deluxe suites available. Uh, you can split them among yourselves as you wish. Uh, everyone in town been... up in no one's been coming out to visit the taverns lately, so it's pretty much just all yours up there. I'm small, so I don't really need a deluxe suite. What is you are correct? Same here. Uh, my Delan, Nalan's, and uh, Liara's old rooms are uh, also up there. What if Togo and Zimbabwe each get a common room, and then the rest of us can split the deluxe suites? Wait, aren't there three common rooms and two deluxe suites? That's right. So <laughs> why would three of you split two deluxe suites? Well, they seem very fancy. We could use a common room for like storage. But why would three people put two deluxe suites? I think this is no the, sense. I think this is the best way to do it. What's your intelligence? Mm-hmm. Like on a scale of like one to mm-hmm. twenty, but really three to twenty. Right. But also uncapped. It's around. It's around. Okay. I fold my three arms. <laughs> Convinced that I'm right. I, well, I was under the impression the guild leader should get a deluxe room. Togo does like that. Well, that's beside the point now. We need to figure out what we're doing with the, uh, with these foreigners or whatever. Yeah, that's what they're called. Well, if you, like, I can't do spells, mind you. So we, I can't charm a person, one of the strangers, and try to get information out of them. Try. Ah, uh, yes. Charm. I think a, a good option would be for you guys to do that, like, outside the front door, just, and we can meet up right after and then possibly follow them. If need be. Yes. Mm-hmm. That does sound good. Let's do Shall that. Shall we then. go with knocking? I, I nod in agreement. Yes! Alright, go. Disappear. Uh, disappear Zimbabwe. Go. I turn invisible. That's a standard action. Where did he go? He was just here. Alright, let's let's go do that thing. Go ahead. Uh... Well, don't we want to, I thought we were going to wait for them to leave, which is like ah. it, several hours. What? No, let's, just, left already. let's just knock. <laughs> Get them out. But, but then I can't sneak into their rooms. But why not? What if we ask them to leave their room? What if we... well, it's, it's a lot harder to sneak around somebody's room when you have to, like, walk through their legs to get inside of it. I'm sure you'll well, manage. What if I hold you up and I pretend to stretch and then place you in the room? Ooh, that could be a good one. No, but why don't we just wait for them to leave? That seems so much easier. What if we throw a rock at their window? Ugh. And then I climb the giraffe. Right, to the window. Yes. I will back for Ronda. Runs out no Africa, South Africa runs out of the bar. To fetch Wakanda. Oh, he's off to get his giraffe. Okay. Well, Does anyone remember why it's blue? No. Nah. Yeah, me neither. It's a blur. What if I approach their room and say, there is a special going on for miners at the bar right now. Free drinks. Well, they're prospectors, so I don't think that would apply. Mm. Why don't we just wait for them to leave, which they're going to do anyway? So shall we just do a stakeout? Yes, I think we should order steak. You yeah. are correct. And then we'll find out what we can do. Let's keep eating steak until th- around three or four, or whatever he said they leave. Yeah. Does eating uh, disrupt your visibility? Yes. Take yeah, one bite in like six seconds. <laughs> <You're invisible>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could do that, but it kind of defeat the purpose. Or oh, sorry, I... I... Oh, sorry, Maybe go, I can... Go. Peek through a window and charm a person since charm is. Well, we already saw that they don't have any windows. They don't have any windows. Mm, oh. Windows, yeah. oh. 
Oh, so South Africa is accomplishing absolutely nothing right now. That's right. As, he'll, as is typical. Who will bring his his giraffe though? How are we going to follow people stealthily with a nineteen foot giraffe? Cast invisibility on I've, the giraffe. We could. Yeah, that is true. Togo can make the giraffe invisible. Okay. I also could make the giraffe invisible for six seconds. I could make the giraffe invisible if it had fingers. It does not have fingers. Well, then I can't do it. Way. I don't. I don't know the etymology of a giraffe. I believe the word is uh, common in root. Yes. <laughs> what? I'm on the head in agreement. Wait, how much is a way? How much is how much is Wakanda way? But I think that's a question for uh, for Sue oh, Wakanda. Yeah. Sao, when he comes back. Sao, Sao, remember, Sao is not in the bar. Yeah, Sao went to oh. go catch the giraffe. I just, I just look around. Can I look at? He hasn't eaten yet, right? Sao left it, like his plate. Yes. I'm just gonna take his food. Also, for context, a uh, fully grown adult male giraffe weighs um, up to three thousand pounds. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I can't cast. <laughs> it's based on weight. That's neat. Yeah. What? Is it like you can turn like such X pounds of creatures invisible? You weigh no more than 100 pounds. Oh, okay. oh. oh well, the average is only um. 1800. Wait, no, wait, a creature weighing no more than 100 pounds? Plenty of creatures, yeah. medium creatures, weigh more than 100 pounds. Wait, wait, is it here. is is it you or a creature or an object that weighs 100 pounds? Ah, uh, is it that? Is that how it's worded? Yeah. Oh, in that case, and I think you it? are allowed to do the giraffe because it's a creature. Dungeon Master? That makes a lot of sense. Correct. Hooray! You're allowed to do it. Okay, then. so we can turn the giraffe invisible, and then Sao will just be floating. That's good. This seems like a rough town. Could we not simply accost the uh, prospectors in an alleyway? Maybe, you know, they think they get mugged, but in reality we're mugging them for information? I and like then this. they come home and see us walking into their rooms right There's no... I really do want to see what's in their rooms. Let me. Tr how about we try to get them out of the room? I like the idea of the accosting thing. Well, let me know when I find Wakanda. Uh, you find Wakanda. Come Wakanda! Just beating up some common He is folk. outside uh, Demos's leather goods. It was the the people inside, the workers there, are kind of sizing him up. Ooh. Come now, Sal! We ride! And I mount Sa uh, uh, Wakanda, sorry. I'm getting my names confused. Come Have Wakanda! You're after? Mind if we ask how much? One of them shouts as you ride away. <laughs> Not for sale, boy! Go, oh, call them. <laughs> uh, as you ride past, and you ride back wherever you want to go. I, I ride back to the bar and uh, look for windows. Uh, there's windows into some of the rooms upstairs. There's no window into the common room that the uh, prospectors are in. Okay. So I remember that we wanted to learn that was inside the rooms, right? I, I, I ride I ride Wakanda over to one of the windows. Wakanda, what do your giraffe eyes see? I'm not looking uh, at the window. No way of communicating with them, right? <laughs> no. Okay. He sees stuff. <laughs> I can describe it to the giraffe, but that's not useful to... Uh, um, Sal gives it a minute. All right. All right, Wakanda. I see you're shy. <laughs> uh, ride me over so I may look. And I, 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 I look into the window. This room has a bed in it and kind of like an easel desk for some writing. Uh, by mm -hmm. the window itself, there there is a trunk at the foot of the bed locked or unlocked he wouldn't know it's locked would he there's a lock on it fair there's a padlock on it okay so i remember it's a it, so with it with a wisdom of three do i i i guess doesn't affect intelligence so i i understand that that the, it was a space thing and that telescopes are for space i take the telescope and take it through the window is it is it like near the window where i can grab it or is it like huge it's huge <laughs> i take it yeah, think of it like observatory telescope, right? I uh, think of like one you pack in your car for like a night yeah. out. Oh, that's not that big. Uh, it's from a giraffe's head to so reach into a window that's closed and take it out. Yeah, a giraffe can do it. It's got that kind of prehensile uh, tongue. So I <laughs> prehensile neck. No tongue. You're not seeing a giraffe okay. tongue. So I, so I, I can't. So it's not like easily grabbable. Uh, no. I mean, if you want to, like, break open the window somehow and see if you can then, like, heft it down. I, I attempt to open the window before breaking it. Okay. Uh, the window is locked. To be clear to all of you, this window. is not the room that you're curious about on the first floor. This is one of the rooms on the top floor. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. This is like the barman's room or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Sal rolls up, Sal tries another room. Because, uh, but he remembers this telescope, maybe. Another room? 
Okay. Yes. Uh, you see a bed with rumpled sheets. Uh, there's an open book lying on the bed. There is a chair in the corner. There appear to be some, several herbs laid out on the nightstand. Uh, that is all. Is this window? Did you say crumpled up papers and herbs? Yeah. Okay. Is 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 this? I I attempt to open the window. Uh, this one's not locked. I open the window. The window's open. It uh, slides upwards. I crawl in the window. Okay. Uh, make a stealth check. Um, am I good at those? Now remember, since Almost. you're wearing full plate, right? Yes. Minus five. You sure? It's because the because like the the Google Doc sheet, it's it's giving me minus three. Oh no! But it's been off for some things. And so I'm gonna yeah, check for full plate. Standard armor penalty that applies to everything like writing. Okay. Oh, I don't take that for writing checks though. So that's fun. Armored rider beat. I think it's a cavalier thing. Yeah. Knock it off. Cool. Plus two, which should be minus two, so it's just a straight d20. Six. Okay. Everyone at the table hears a loud thump. The merman was talking, I believe, last time I went down here. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is, uh, Boom. name, 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 name. Sal. I lost my names. They're all gone forever. Sal. Oh, right. <laughs> I know. Zimbabwe. Yeah. I go up to the door. I knock on the door. I make them come to the door. I either... You can slip in before they get to the door, and maybe I force it open, and be like... I don't hey, slip in before I, they get to the door. The door's closed. I open the door first. It's probably I say, locked. I, I could maybe open it. I could pull it open. It's a, it's a bar door. I could probably open it. Uh, so so I go, you, you, you this knock is on their in door. my room. And force they, it open. <laughs> We all we all have a big <laughs> laugh while you check out all their things. I and, tell them I'm sorry for my mistake. While they're standing there, I slip between their legs, start reading documents, which I'm pretty sure like picking things up breaks invisibility. I'm sure you'll be I think it breaks it. enough. I think it makes it block yeah. break invisibility. I would assume. Let me read the invisibility page quickly. What if I just make them sleep? What if we just wait till they walk out of their rooms? Do you want to see what a loud thump coming from upstairs? Yeah, I heard that. Probably a prospector prospecting a, another prospector. Yeah, doesn't sound like a... <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, okay. I think I understand. That's how they make miners. Zimbabwe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. gives a hearty laugh as he downs his beer. I wasn't making oh, a joke. I just picked up disappear if tucked in. Hmm. It would really hamper my ability to give a thorough check of... The... They have multiple rooms, too, so we have to do this for each prospector room. I say we all simultaneously break in and mistake in it as our. If I can only check one room at a time. That is what the guild leader says. That is what the but guild leader says. <laughs> guild leader, I will honor any final decision you make, but <laughs> I would only be able to check one room at a time, and then I'd be they'd close the door afterwards. I'd be trapped in the room with the prospectors. What if we just go in and assault them? And hold them for information. Them? Yes. And hold them down and say, what do you know? But very loudly in an intimidating fashion. Yes. I, I feel like I might have said the barman. Would it? I mean, basically assaulting his customers in his bar would probably build a bad name for this bar. In our defense, he said they're weird. He did say they're weird. <laughs> uh, m multiple reports of them being weird as well. But he did, he did say they pay good. Mm, yes, I can see how money and weirdness can conflict. I agree. I have very little so, money, so I assume I am I not have an weird. Idea. Okay, new idea. Right. We wait until like 3 or 4 o'clock when the prospectors are already planning on leaving their rooms. Right. You mm -hmm. guys accost them in the streets. I mm -hmm. nod. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I search their rooms invisibly. Hmm. I like this brand new idea you just had. This is a good idea. Why haven't we brought this up before? It just know. came to me. It's a good idea. Mm. Someone should fetch Sao and fill him in on what we're going to do then. That is, unless uh, Togo, our guild leader, has any different say on this. So. Hmm, Togo thinks you're right. Now go fetch him. I think Togo is also right. I go to the <laughs> stable thinking that's where Sao is. <laughs> on the way out, do I see the giraffe next to the building? <laughs> Yes, you do. Kind of leaning into the window. I'll approach the giraffe. <laughs> and yell upwards. <laughs> Upstairs. <laughs> now, you are in a room 
Uh, there are some crumpled paper, crumpled sheets on the bed, a book lying open there, some herbs on the nightstand. I take the herbs. Okay. I put them in the open book. Okay. <laughs> I close the book. Okay. Yes. I take the book. Okay. Yes. I, I, I feel bad, so I, I make the bed. Like okay. the, the sheets are crumpled. I spread them out all nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. After doing this, I um, I leave the room uh, through the window. Okay. The window. Back to the draft, of course. Um, Chad, uh, you see uh, a man climbing down giraffe's neck. Oh, Wakanda, <laughs> have you seen Sal? <laughs> giraffe knees. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Makes giraffe sounds. They're like long horses, right? Yeah, they're like long yeah. horses, yeah. Oh, that's why. I'm afraid about muted, so I'm not hearing any of yeah. this. Oh. So, we've well, the first so, Togo has come up with an ingenious plan. We, oh. we must carry it out. It involves you coming back to the inn, though, to get filled in on it. Okay. Come on, Wakanda. Into the tavern we go. Uh, yeah, just walk back. <laughs> And uh, I, I ride. I ride Wakanda to the door of the tavern. Nice. I dismount Wakanda. So now, Wakanda, stick your head in so you may listen. And I, I, I walk through the door, and presumably Wakanda um, sticks their head through the door. Is it saloon doors? Wait, did you, did everyone leave the tavern? I thought no, no, we're all here. We're all here. Is it saloon doors? Will? Yeah. 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 That tavern, oh. yeah. Oh, that's easy for Wakanda to for Wakanda to peek on in. Yeah, he can't fit. Wakanda can't fit in the room though. No, he's just sticking his head in. Yeah, yeah he's sticking the head in. Yeah. Okay. Um, we wait till three. <laughs> I turn invisible and wait upstairs so I can see which rooms the prospectors are going to leave. Uh, they leave a room on the first floor. I uh, okay. I go on the first floor and wait. <laughs> did he give like any inclination of like he said the common room was there, but did they just rent the common room? They just rent the camera room. Oh, well, then I am invisible at the table. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the rooms upstairs are basically the empty ones that they gave to you and where all the workers live. Okay. It seemed like they just paid a lot of money to rent out the entire common room for themselves. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, while we're waiting, I'm just sprawled, laying down on the table. Okay. Munching on those the chicken that they gave us. Around 4.30 p.m., the prospectors leave their room and grab a table at the bar. There are Four men all appear to be wearing leather armor. One of them has like a spade on their waist. A few others have bags with them. Um, as they sit around the table, one of them reaches into the bag, takes out four bowls, puts them on the table, and they all begin eating out of the bowls. They don't appear armed? They seem to have some knives on them, also okay. on their belts, but uh, no large weapons, no two headed axes like your uh, friend uh, Chad here has. It's like a cleaver. Okay. <laughs> But large. Are we waiting at the table, or are we in our rooms now? No, we're at the table. Like we're still at the table. Yeah, just okay. So we could see them come out. Uh, they close the door behind them. Ooh. So I see them lock it. No. <gasps> Would yes. opening a door break invisibility? I don't believe so. No. Okay. While they're at the bar with their bowls facing away, I presume the bar. I go and I try the door. Yeah. Uh, the door. Just try turning the knob, not like opening it. The door is locked. Okay. I whisper that in Chad's ear. Buh. Buh. <laughs> right. Right. I, I say look left I and right. Pick it when they leave. I nod. That's it. <laughs> Something wrong, Chad? I'm hearing the voices again, Mozambique. <laughs> <laughs> you must kill. <laughs> I know voices. I know. <laughs> when will this curse leave us? That was the link I said someone earlier. I was trying to copy this text. <laughs> Not the trailer for the dumb squirrel movie I was making fun of. <laughs> nice. Um, invisible being can open doors, talk, eat, climb stairs, some oh, monsters can and have them attack, cut ropes, trigger traps. Oh, that's um, awesome. I can do yeah. so much. Open, I love the open a portcullis to release attack dogs. Yeah, but if they're regular <laughs> dogs, it breaks invisibility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also cats. Uh, only works on the attack dogs. So, uh, yeah, we just, we, we, I, I just, like, stare at yeah. them hoping for that them to leave like i'm trying to will them to leave like come on walk out the door so we can do the plan Uh, they seem to be talking um amongst themselves uh, not really paying attention to the people around them i gradually get more frustrated as they don't leave may i try to listen to their conversation 
Yeah, it's quite easy there. Just had a table right next to you. So, Steve, where do you think we're going to gold mining today? I think we should go over by the Grackle River. It's we haven't tested there yet. Might be able to find some good gold. I think that's a lovely idea. Uh, maybe we can strike it to rich. We should sieve down by the riverbank. I begin writing down in a on a piece of paper, Grackle River, mouthing it to myself quietly while I'm next to them. Do, do, so I I, I see. I see Mozambique writing down on, on paper. I say, uh, oh, well, friend, if you, if you need something to write on, you, know, you could you could use the pages of this book. And I slam the book I saw on the table. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. Chekhov's gun. What kind of book is this? I don't know. I took it from one of the rooms. I looked at the book. It smells really nice. <laughs> yes. It appears to be a journal. Um, The name written in it is uh, Liara. I can't find her last name at the moment. Liara. Um, it uh, appears to be uh, tracking all the recipes he's perfected all of the years. <laughs> I look at the name, I look over the book, and I say, By the gods. And I tear out all the Liara pages and throw them behind me, and I go, Finally, more pages, and start writing notes. Perfect. <laughs> does, 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 does he tear past where the herbs were? So the herbs also go flying? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Um, also, it's quite a long journal. It would take about... Uh, three hours to read it completely, so there's quite a lot of pages. To could I, could I assist? <laughs> yeah, yeah, in tearing it, right, uh, helping you tear it out. It looks like you're having yeah, trouble yeah. there. Uh, I'm gonna oh, be my, yeah, of I'm course. Gonna, I'm gonna pee and uh, pee the cat, so, um... Yep, pee on the cat. Know. Got it. Could yeah, you reading this journal provide us with useful information? This is being recorded, I am not peeing on the cat. Oh, I'm right, right. Of course. What do you mean, Zimbabwe? What, what, what are you referring to? Well, this is the cook that went missing, right? Wait, who is speaking to me right now? I throw my voice to like the seat next to him. I think it's I me. The seat next to me. I think it's me, Mozambique. <laughs> I think I'm talking to you, based on where the voice yeah. is coming from. I, I don't know what came over me. I would not say yeah. these words, but apparently Since I am. When were you Zimbabwe? Guys, I don't know. Wouldn't isn't this the cook that went missing? Well, Mozambique, I asked you a question. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's it's a book, but it's written down. Somebody said the cook. Right. The cook. Yes. And the cook the is cook. the guy who went missing. And there are recipes here. Don't be Siri. Leandra is a girl's name. Yes. Why can't girls be cooks? Yes. What? So what you're saying is we use the book to watch over the miners. I know. So what if we read like the end of the book and see if there's any relevant information about why the cook went missing? Togo, uh, could you read the book? Uh, I look at the book. I started read, uh, tearing out N first, and I look behind me, and I, uh, okay, give me a, give me a minute here. <laughs> <laughs> Collect the pages. <laughs> start picking up pages one by one, trying to. Togo, could can you? Can I? Oh, well, while he's doing that, can I like walk towards the book and try to read it? Mm -hmm. to... Glean any useful information. Is it well, used Chad, library? This was your idea. Help me. I'm just, okay. And I just try to like pick up the pages with three arms. Does anyone have profession cook? <laughs> no. I don't think I have a single profession. A profession nope. cobbler. Nope. Does that help? I have herbalism. <laughs> Herbalist. <laughs> well, it is. Would knowledge so help us. Would knowledge any of them help? Herbalism would help. Mm. Would knowledge local do anything for you? <laughs> a little bit. I got some dungeoneering. Um, uh, can you make a perception check, G? Perception? Yeah. Roll that see. d20 and see what you get. I got a six. Plus? Mm. There's a lot of herbs in the book. I don't got any um, plus. To perception? Five ones that are going to be hastily placed there um, that haven't fallen out yet. And just some other, like, long lists of fresh local ingredients. Uh, it seems like Liara had a complete disdain for imported goods and just goes on tirades for long paragraphs. Uh, this kind of bores you. Yeah, you don't, you don't. You don't have plenty plus the perception. I just, I just kind of stretch, close the book, and just go back to my spot of like now. Back to the chicken. Can I examine some of the herbs that fell out to confirm they are in fact cooking herbs? Yeah. Wow, this module does not specify any herbs. Um. <laughs> Come on, DM, improvise. How did I roll? Um, profession yeah. herbalist. Cinnamon. Yeah, They're all cinnamon sticks. Herbalist. Sticks of uh, eleven. Are you looking up herbs for cooking? Or maybe looking up herbs for not cooking. Ooh. I'm back. Nice. 
How was Pinot? Uh, yeah, your some of it is uh, fresh <laughs> rosemary. Ooh. Um, some of it's uh, uh, some of it's uh, bee balm. Some of it's uh, water mint. Ooh, a bit of bee balm. Classic bee balm. Mm-hmm. So what kind of herbs that would grow in like a wet marsh or swamp area? Okay. Wet marsh. Mm-hmm. Have me have have Chad and Mozambique right. finished collecting the pages we ripped out? Uh, could you also make a perception check if you're looking at the book, or no, I'm just collecting the pages. We, I'm just picking the pages. Herbs. Um, uh, Josek. Oh me? Yeah. yeah. If you're looking at the book also. Oh, that's that's check. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. <laughs> Um, perception. I won't. Hmm. Actually, not bad. 22. Okay. 26. Bam. Uh, first of all, the recipes in this book look delicious. It seems like Yolar is a fantastic cook. Much better than the kind of dry chicken you got from Milan. Um, mm. Second of all, yeah, at the back of the book, there's actually a list of all the herbs, like you just saw, the mint, um, the rosemary, and so on. That, And it's kind of list, she lists where she gets them. Nearly 75% of the ingredients come from the old frog swamp mm. near the source of the Grackle River. Frog old. Um, and it completely agrees with your own kind of herbalist knowledge of where these kind of spices would come from. Okay. Uh, did I read anything from picking up the pages? I, did you roll perception on it? Or? Yeah, 26. Yes. There's some journal logs of sometimes uh, Liara stays out overnight uh, camping to collect herbs. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Filthy. She liked camping. This is important. Right, Chad? Why? Because uh, it's in her journal. And right. you asked me to look through her journal. Did I? Right. right. When yeah. I was speaking without my voice. Um, yes. And she disappeared, right? So if we find where she disappeared, we'll find Why? where she disappeared. Yes, we can find where she disappeared. If we find where more, she disappeared. More herbs. What's your intelligence score? It's enough. <laughs> enough. Yeah. Orc gets minus two. It's not terrible. It's not great. I'll have, so uh, where should we look, Chad? Uh... The, clearly she disappeared in the swamp so we should go to the swamp but first we're, we're doing the plan the plan made by uh, us where I we have found to... a page that says that she enjoys camping I struck my chin in contemplation that means we should go camping I nodded yes. agreement <laughs> finally it all comes together there it is it's not Real quick, does anybody in this group have a, have an int score above ten? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have fourteen intelligence. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. It's fucking loads. I think that might be the highest in our group. The best of oh my god. Uh it's looking less like a one shot. <laughs> That's what we want. So anyway. I think we need to wait for any act any particular movement from these buckos over here and I do the slyest kind of like shoulder nod over to the miners. I stare at them and and sit down and just think to myself, please leave so we can get on with it. I just stare at their souls. Uh, The prospectors eventually finish their meal and get up. Yes! Yes! I exclaim. I I give Mozambique uh, Sao and Togo a look, and then I give a look to the door. The, the, the their door, you mean? No, the door like the to room? leave, to go after them. Let, let's go. To accost them. Let's go yes. accost them. That's the plan. We get up. I get up. And we go. Quickly. And as they do that, I it's up to break into the room. Okay. Uh, let's do the room first. Yeah, that's probably easier. Okay. <laughs> so I, I use my standard action to turn my bracers into a master level lock and uh that gives me a plus two to disable device which is picking locks right Mm -hmm. so i will attempt to pick this lock i rolled a natural 20 so 36. that 20. are you the uh dc 35 disable device check to see holy nice what a boy (laughs) yo jesus christ now, a smart man would have assumed that there was someone there who locked the door because you didn't see the people that left out in it, but none of us were particularly smart enough to notice that. Yeah. 
Well, maybe it just automatically locks behind them. <laughs> nah, don't be ridiculous. All right, go on. <laughs> so, invisibly, I turn the handle and crack the door to peek in. Okay. Okay. You see a large common room uh, with a few beds and a couch, and uh, it seems just like a can convert into like a large hostel. There are just the four beds there, and it seems like no one's in. Did I see <laughs> four people leave? That's a pun. You did. Okay. I slip in and close the door behind me. Looking at the lock now, it looks like a very simple lock. It shouldn't have been nearly that hard to pick. It might have been magically enhanced somehow. Ooh. 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 There's uh, numerous water skins all over the bed. Some pieces of paper around the room. Uh, can you make a perception check as you investigate everything that's going on here? Yep. Um, 28. Yeah, so you see a folded piece of paper behind one of the beds. Mm, I uh, read it. Assuming it's in common halfling, elfish, or common sign language. Uh, it's actually a map, and there's no words on it at all. Mm. Uh, there's a big red circle around some location in the hills farther to the north of Dustpawn. Hmm. Um, it's a map of Dustpawn region. Near one of the mountains, there is a uh, big circle in red as well. So two circles total? A, a big X, sorry, on the uh, the hills, and okay. a circle around the... Are the mountains also to the north? Uh, yes, but to the other side, like to the west, the other one to the east. Okay. Um, do I find any other... I'm mainly looking for paperwork here, so like journals or notes or anything like that. Anything else that I find? No journals or notes. They might have taken them with them in their bags. Mm -hmm. But there is a uh, a necklace with like a ring of... Like a onyx gem with the ring of white dots around the rim just laying on the desk. Okay. I'll pocket that. Okay. Uh, necklace with onyx ring. Yeah. Okay. Um, and seeing nothing else of interest, I will leave and try to lock... The door behind me. Okay. It seems to lock automatically as you close it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Magic. Then I'll make my way out and see how the accosting is going. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. <laughs> um, the prospectors seem to go into the part of the town that contains the market. Uh, they walk past the uh, leather shop that uh, Wakanda was uh, nearly sold into moments prior. <laughs> 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 And they seem to be uh, haggling with one of the members there. Uh, What's the cheapest price you can give me for a bag that would be good with shift to hold some of the gold we find? I have to carry these tools out to the mountains today, and uh, uh, we've only got the small sacks, you see. And they're haggling over the price back and forth, and uh, the leather worker is yelling at them that he can't go lower than 20 gold per bag. I'll speak to, to the group and say... Should we just accost them in the public, or should we maybe, I don't know, follow them for a while? Or? I think we should accost them outside of town. Mm, yes, that could or be smart. Maybe behind a building. There are a lot of buildings. Mm -hmm. yes! We could perpetually be always behind a building. Is, is South Africa, does he have his, Does he have Wakanda with him? Yes, it, I, I'm riding Wakanda. I can't, don't see why he hmm. wouldn't be. Right. I, I think they might notice us following them if we, we uh, have the giraffe. Is that a problem? No. <laughs> He's sneaky. Watch this. Wakanda. Sneak. And I haven't performed the sneak trick. He sneaks. Do we still see him? Does he have to do a stealth roll? Yeah. Do a stealth roll, but you have like a plus, a minus, whatever, because you're large. Huge. Huge? So the... what's the minus for huge? Minus eight. Wow. Okay, so I roll. I roll a straight d twenty. Or uh, does it have? Is you're at this one? Does the sneak? Tr does like having the treat sneak? Treat trick? Sneak? No, it doesn't give him any additional bonuses or cancel it out. Okay. okay. <laughs> it just lets you come. He knows how to try to sneak. Okay. So, it's a natural twenty. Ooh. He's the sneakiest wow. fucking giraffe you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your not eyes kind of blur as like. <laughs> He's just standing so still that you, because your eyes can't perceive him. <laughs> By Wakanda. God. Wakanda. Oh, 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 it's oh, like oh, in the thumbnails for the video that Paul keeps posting. You don't notice the giraffe in the background, right? It looks like there's only one giraffe in the picture. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly like that. <laughs> South Africa, you're just floating. <laughs> That's right. I told you. He's sneaky. Did Wakanda ever exist? Were you always uh, just flying? 
Oh, oh my dear friend, Wakanda is forever. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. You said the name of the, the name of the thing. We come. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>